Hello, welcome to Diva's Paradise, a wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Diva, also known as Alicia Charmaine. And this episode, we're going to talk to you about the makeup show, New York City, that took place here in New York, May of 2016, which is this month. So this is just a brief recap. And I'm happy to say uh, last year they celebrated 10 years of the makeup show. This makes year 11. So I'm very, very happy to be in attendance all of those years. And I have enjoyed myself each and every time. The makeup show is a... Uh, event that's geared toward professional makeup artists in the industry so in order to gain attendance or have access to the makeup show you have to show credentials to prove that you are indeed working in the industry some form of the beauty industry if you go to the makeup show.com which is their website you can get all the information of credentials that you need to show to go to the makeup show also for my friends who are not makeup artists but you are makeup artist enthusiast or maybe you just a makeup artist who can't get to the makeup show they do have what they call the makeup show pop-up shops this allows anybody to just go in and shop you don't have to show any credentials you simply purchase tickets in advance you can get information about those pop-up shots pop-up shops at the makeup um, they have them in New York then they also started having them in San Francisco and now Atlanta as of next month in June you will be having your very first makeup show pop-up shop. I feel like that's a tongue twister. So let's get right on into the makeup show. This year is no different. I attended educational classes by Scott Barnes. Um, I saw seminars by Demi Danny Sands. She is the makeup uh, founder for uh, Makeup Forever. I had color correcting classes with David uh, Hernandez. I uh, got to see Scott Barnes do his demo. I don't know if I just said that or not. I saw Renny Vasquez. He also was a keynote speaker. He also did a demo. So this is a wonderful way to get your hands on some education. As usual, I go as a blogger in addition as being a makeup artist, but I had access to go to the blogger preview and I'm going to be showing you some things that are in the grab bag as well as some items that I have purchased. So get your tea, get your coffee, put this thing on play, get your glass of whatever it is you're drinking and put it on pause and come on back and let's get right into the video. So let's talk about the first item that I purchased okay the first item that I purchased is a big ticket item I saw it at the blogger preview and I knew straight away that I had to get it it's made by Glamcore the same people who make my professional lighting that I do take on sets when I do um, my bridles or my clients or whatever kind of shoots that I do and this is what it looks like I hope I'm not gonna blind you, you can see my setup I have a ring light but this is the skinny Ricky, which is Ricky Loves Ricky. It looks like this. It is a lighted mirror. I'm going to tilt it back a little bit so you're not blinded. Why I like it is because it does indeed come with a stand. So this is what the stand looks like. And you would set it on the stand if you wanted to do your makeup. Sorry, I'm not a flat surface, so this is why it's not staying up. But um, yeah, so this is what it looks like on the stand. As you'll notice in the front, they do have some buttons. These are the controls for the mirror. You move over so you have access to the power sorry I'm gonna zoom in so hopefully you can see all of that so you have access to the power um, you can lighten up the mirror meaning well let's turn it on first where's my power button hard to see okay so the mirror is lighted and you do have Bluetooth access if you wanted to link it to your mobile and then you can also take pictures using your mobile. So this is what it looks like. It's a lighted mirror. I can show my clients what they're looking like and it has five settings that you can turn it up. Isn't that wonderful? Really bright. So you can set this down to do your own makeup or you can let your client see how bright that is. It's like illuminating on my face. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I love this mirror. This is the lowest setting. You see how this lights me up oh so nice. I should just put this off to the side somewhere. This light is beautiful. Mm. Maybe I'll leave it on for the rest of this video. I don't know if it's going to work well, but we can give it a go. Pop it up. How's that for lighting? Yes, I love it. Oh, turn. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, I bought it at the makeup show to use for myself as well as with my clients when I'm doing their makeup. So they don't have to be like, oh, I'm trying to find a light to see how my makeup looks. No, the mirror is lighted. So they can, they get to see all of that without having to worry about um, finding the light. So now that was $150. But 
before I put the mirror away, I forgot to tell you. This mirror, for those of you who are in love with taking selfies, came with two additional attachments. First of all, as far as charging the mirror, you can just simply plug it into a wall outlet and it will charge, it's rechargeable. This is one of the attachments that you get. It is magnetic, it will cling to the mirror. This is where you would put your mobile phones if you wanna do selfies, you could turn it this way. It will hold your mobile phone. You can turn it this way if you'd like to do periscope. It's wonderful. So you will have a lighted mirror so you can see yourself as you scope. You can see yourself when you take your selfies. Um, wonderful. The second attachment that it comes with is a magnifying mirror. It too is also magnetic. Pardon all the fingerprints, but that's what happens when you have children in your house. And that you just simply attach it to the mirror. So you say whoop. So for those of you who want to get in really close and see your eye work, or if you're tweezing your eyebrows, it's excellent. You're getting a good buy. I got it for $150. It's the, the advanced um, sale pricing. I don't know how much it's going to sell for on the website, but that is coming from Glampore. I think they did an awesome job with the mirror. Now, I have always slept on uh, Vizard eyeshadows because I felt like I have too many eyeshadows. I don't need any more eyeshadows. And the two palettes that I purchased from the makeup show were <laughs> the neutral matte as if I needed another neutral matte palette. I don't know why my camera is giving me a headache. This is like the gajillionth time I had to um, film. I've been having not so good a day. <laughs> And then this is the Sultry Muse. It consists of satiny, shimmery shades, but I'm happy to say it gives you a nice sheen. It looks great on lids. So that's the eyeshadow. I stopped at Sephora because Sephora Pro was at the show and I bought some brushes. As you know, I am a, I, I am a woman that loves my brushes. I, I do have Sephora Pro. These are some wonderful brushes. This is what they look like because I don't want this haul video to be too long. Um, this is the Pro Press Full Coverage Complexion. So this is wonderful for getting that foundation in. Here's a smaller, more detailed version of the Pro Press Full Coverage. And it allow you to get in here and get all that nice detailing worked into your skin. This was a very interesting because of the shape. Look at this. It's nice and stiff. Um, again, great size for getting in there and you know brushing away all that stuff that you may come in contact with this one is called the featherweight blending brush so it's excellent for blending then i had a fan brush because i need more fan brushes i'm a fan of high uh, fan brushes for me to do my highlight i'm a two tapered crease brushes and last but not least is the angled pro liner and the reason why i like this is because it is nice and fine in the head and it is ultra thin see fine thin same thing i'm being like redundant in my speech sorry about that and you see how narrow that is this allows me to get nice thin fine lines but not only that if i decide i need to fill in my eyebrows i can dip it into whatever pomade i have and make nice little hair like strokes right across the brow to get the rcma um no color powder i had been hearing so much about it and i said you know what let me give it a go it's from face atelier i have their ultra pro foundations in my kit that i actually use on my clients this one happens to be like a golden highlighter it's called blaze it is quite yellow so i wouldn't just use it straight up by itself i'm going to show you i had a dried up swatch that i have put on my hand it is here so if you can see what it looks like dried down that's what it looks like. So what I would do if I wanted more of a pop of a golden hue into my foundation as I'm doing my client or my model, I would put probably a little drop or something. Just mix it in until I get it nice and golden the way I want. And then I can use that as a highlighter. I did purchase two is the Ultra Camouflage Duo, uh, sorry, Duet in Erase. Because you know a lot of people are using to get rid of those dark areas on their skin. They're using like lipstick or really orangey shade. And... She has made it possible, Miss Lady from Face Atelier, that you have both a, a white shade and an orange shade. This allows you to mix the two of them together to customize it, to get as much coverage as you want, not even coverage, but as dark as or as light as you need. So you would customize this for your clients. So I purchased from Mehran some Mehran metallic powder. This is lilac. They also had rose gold, but by the time I got to their booth, it was all sold out. Okay, there you go. So these you can mix with the mixing medium that they have. 
Uh, you could use it by itself. You could dust it on your body. You could use it as a highlight. It's something in your creative. I mean, look at my finger. My finger is totally lilac out, but you saw what it looked like on the back of my hand. You see how metallic that is? I bought some Make a Forever Water Blend Foundation. This is their first introduction being made at the makeup show so it's not even available in the stores yet this is r5 520 is the shade that i have i put it on and it really pretty much blended in the skin this is going to replace their face and body i'm gonna see if i can I want you to see that okay see that all right so i'm gonna blend it out for you until it all disappears it was right there but that is what it looks like. This is going to replace their face and body that they currently have. Renny Vasquez did a collaboration with AJ Crimson and he had these, I call them hashtag lipsticks because each of the names has a hashtag. So that's nude. Okay, I don't know if you want to see a swatch. I don't have any clean space on my hand. That's what nude looks like. And it's hashtag nude, not any old, any old nude. This one is hashtag no filter. I will put that at the top. So that's hashtag uh, no filter. Okay. So that's nude, hashtag no filter. All of them have hashtag in the name. And the last one is perfect selfie. I'm going to put that one down below here. Just so you have an idea what that looks like. And then this is perfect selfie. So you in the goodie bag, OCC makeup had a color that they did in collaboration with James Vinson, who was the director of education for the makeup show. And this is called New York Groove. It is a nude that I would say is compatible for a variety of skin tones. If you go to my Instagram, Diva Does Makeup, I have pictures from the makeup show. I also have pictures of me wearing this. And I don't even recall if I, I probably did have to put a liner because it's, it's quite, um, it's kind of light. It just needs a little liner for a gradation the way I would like it. And that is New York Groove. It seems like I'm getting a lot of nudes, be it pinky nudes or peachy nudes or corally nudes. That is New York Groove. And that looks beautiful on with a nice light pale liner. At least that's how I would wear it. With the lip bar. I was doing a Periscope from the makeup show. So those of you who follow me on Periscope, I know quite a few of you. Oh my God, I put this on and they were like... Yes, where can I get that? Where can I get that? This is a vibrant popping red. It is very beautiful. It reminds me of the one that I've gotten from Magnolia Makeup. I'm going to do a swatch just to let you see what it looks like. It is like a vibrant popping red. It is so beautiful on. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in so you can have an idea. Okay, you see that red? It's very pretty on the lip. Okay, I don't remember. I might have a picture with it on in my uh, Instagram. So definitely check my Instagram out. Diva Does Makeup. You'll see pictures with me and my friends. See, it goes with my friends. Got me got Tina, the fancy face. I have my peeps that I was hanging out with this weekend. Uh, last weekend, rather, at the makeup show. It was wonderful. It's one of the reasons I like going to the makeup show. I get to reunite and hang out with my people. There were like three different mascaras that, was, were, that were given to us. The first one is by Senna Cosmetics. It's, it says Detail Mascara. I have yet to try any of them because I'm actually still going through my belt. So the other two mascaras I got is one from Must Have. If you can see that packaging. And one from Tardis. So I'm looking forward to trying these two mascaras. And I'll show you the Senna Lash Detail Mascara. Um, we also got <clears throat> in the goodie bag. Sorry an eyeshadow by Stilazi. I don't know why I'm getting this darkness. Ugh. Stilazi is like a neutral shadow and a brush. We got, speaking of eyeshadows, some Matchbox Full Exposure. This is the travel size that you can walk with. I don't know why my autofocus is not autofocusing. And this is just the miniature version of the travel size. Um, we also got an empty palette by Ket Cosmetics. And you can go by the booth and pick what you needed. And instead, I filled mine with the Fix Cream. That's this right here. Three shades because, you know, I like a multi-dimensional face. We also got 
a fine lined felt tip eyeliner pen from Crown. I'm not going to open it up because I'm sure you know what a fine lined pencil looks like. We also got Kevin Aquan, the per Precision Brow Pencil. As far as glosses go, Gleam by Melanie Mills for lip color gave us these two glosses that came in it. One is called With My Heels On, which is a nice cherry red shade and the other one is called uncontrollable sorry i need to wear my reading glasses uncontrollable eve pro gave us her liquid matte lipstick so you see it's a nice pinky color i could see this wearing this with a soft brown lip pencil young blood cosmetics gave us a lovely you know i'm partial to my red shades lovely red shade i'm gonna show you what that looks like this is that lip bar uh lip shade that's all dried down i'm gonna put the uh, Youngblood Cosmetics Red right on top. So there that is. That's from Youngblood. Beautiful, beautiful red. I'm looking forward to using that. Then we could go by the Nurturing Force booth and you could check which one of their products that you wanted to try. I got the Seal the Deal Liner and Eyeshadow Sealer. Essentially, you just put like a drop, mix it with your pigment or with your eyeshadow, your, your liners, where you can make liner with it and seal your eyeshadow with it. More than likely, I'm assuming you can also put this into the airbrush machine, like how I do with the Aqua Seal from uh, Makeup Forever to help waterproof the makeup. So that's a good option. Body Shop was there. They gave us a full size, lovely 24 hour intense moisture for dry skin. This is in like a gardenia scent. All right, Bellelium Tools gave us an auto lip crayon. And this, again, is a nice pinky nude. Amika gave us Perk Up Dry Shampoo. So this is great when you're on set and your talent has, like, really greasy hair or hair that needs to be freshened up. This is a dry shampoo. Kat Von D. Let's go on to Kat Von D. The Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. This one's in rust. It comes in this cute little packaging. It looks like a miniature coffin. Morbid, morbid I know, but that's Kat Von D for you. So it's Shade and Light. This is the rust. It is a warm shadow palette, so you know that's right up my alley. That's what that looks like. Beautiful. We also received the eyeshadow brush, which I don't even want to take it out the packaging, but I just want to give you an idea. One end is pointed, as you can see, and the other eye is for laying. The other end is for laying down that color. We also got the tattoo liner, which I love. Fine line jet black. Meron Celeb Celebrate Pro powdered contour. So that's what it looks like. These are the shades. See that? So I'm looking forward to trying those. Ardell lashes were there and they gave us some press on lash. So you know Ardell, good old trusty Ardell. Makeup show, get more information at themakeupshow.com. Check out when they're having the pop-up shops. Atlanta, you're having one next month. Get those tickets. You can get access to these pro goodies at good almost close to pro pricing if not at pro pricing by going to the pop-up shop when it's in your neighborhood again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing do follow me on facebook twitter instagram and periscope at diva does makeup until the next video take care and god bless bye